stretch they came into the fourth quarter dominating 39 to 12. Wow. And Miami's a tough team. Look, they play the right way, too. I mean, that is not easy. Put 40 up on them, and look how often they got to the line and how they shot from the line, clinching a playoff spot. So, uh, Russ, what, 16 rebounds away at another triple-double from amazing. unbelievably another season. That's amazing. Averaging a triple-double. But individual numbers aren't going to matter. Are you seeing him share the ball more and enough to the point where those three can all be cohesive come playoff time? I uh, mean, Sam just talked about it. I love them in transition. The problem I have sometimes with OKC is in half court when it slows down. They're one of the best in the business if they're playing and they're running and they're just getting a chance to play. But it's too much standing for me from their entire team in half court. They got to find a way to get the bodies moving and find a mismatch if they want to make some damage in the playoffs. Sam, hey, go ahead, Sam. But somebody explain to me if Russ is averaging 10 or 11 <laughs> assists a game, and we're saying OKC don't move the basketball, and we're blaming, and the people are blaming Russ. Well, what the other players doing when they touch it? Because if one guy is giving the ball up and he's getting 11 assists a game, and that means every time he gives it up, that don't mean somebody's scoring. Right. So where the, where's the ball movement? Where's the lack of ball movement? What it's telling me is that, you to your point, players' bodies are not moving. They're yep. not getting out in transition. You know, they're not setting good screens. It's not just Russ not moving the ball. Apparently, he's moving. Russ is if moving. he's getting 10, 11 assists a game. There's a lot of watching, Russ. There's a lot of watching, and that means there's a lot of ball, bodies are not moving, and that means the ball is not moving when they touch other people's hands. All right, uh, Orlando, it's a place where uh, there's Disney, but not Giannis, he likes it. The Bucks still fighting like everybody else is uh, for the East. We'll get to that in a second with positioning. Uh, he's out with the ankle, no problem. Even scoring, you got to like that from a balance standpoint in what they got from their scorers. And here we go, six through eight, reminding schedules. Look at the schedule. Bucks, Heat, Wizards, all could have different matchups. Do you take into account at all, Sam, I know we don't want to think about this, who you want to play? If you're the coaches and you're running any of these three teams, let's just get honesty now. You do. Are you thinking about, hey, look, maybe it's better we don't win the last game if we want to play You, you do else. because the playoffs are about matchups. And, and Smitty, you know this. Look, when I played for the Timberwolves, we could beat any and everybody we felt like. But we couldn't beat the Clippers. I mean, for whatever reason, it was a knockdown, drag-out fight to beat the Clippers. And they were one of the worst teams in the league. And